Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Well, spring is finally here in Vegas and the weather has been getting as high as 80, 85 degrees. And that means it's going to be time for social gatherings pretty soon. I'm going to do barbecues and parties and things like that. And I thought to myself tonight, what happens at a lot of gatherings where friends come over, everybody brings something with them. You know, everybody does hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, chicken, and then you have your side dishes, you know, coleslaw, potato salad, macaroni salad. And it's that macaroni salad that you usually see at most picnics and social gatherings that brings me to the recipe that I'm going to make tonight. Tonight I'm going to make an Asian-inspired soba noodle salad, okay, with buckwheat noodles, Japanese buckwheat noodles. And I'm going to use the flavors of Thailand to make that noodle salad something that goes well beyond your standard pedestrian macaroni salad or pasta salad made with mayo and mustard that you might find at a social gathering. This dish can be made with anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be Asian in flair. You could use whole grain or whole wheat noodles and make it Greek style if you wanted. You can use these noodles and any ingredients that you have in your refrigerator. But this is a very easy noodle salad to make and a very easy flavorful dressing. And as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. So let's get going and I'll see you on the other side. All right, this is a very easy Thai-inspired salad dressing. It's very easy to make, so let's go. We're gonna put in some olive oil. And we're gonna put in some sesame oil. Okay. And we're gonna add some fish sauce. Okay. And a little bit of brown sugar, okay, to cut the acidity of things, okay. We want to whisk this together, break up that brown sugar. You could use white sugar if you want, okay? But you want that sugar to break up, and it will, okay? And add a couple of the other liquid ingredients to help it along. A little bit of soy sauce, and a little bit of rice vinegar, okay? And we're going to whisk all this together and get that sugar to dissolve and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, the sugar's dissolved and moving forward. Some lime juice. Okay. Some finely minced garlic. Get that in there. Some finely minced ginger. Mm. Now you have an option for this. Okay, I'm going to take the option. I'm going to impart a little bit more spice by adding some sambal sauce. Okay, because I like spicy. And I think everybody here knows that. And I'm going to whisk this in. Smells good. And I'm going to put some toasted sesame seeds in here. Add a little nuttiness. Whisk them in well. But I'm not going to leave this dressing loose like this. This dressing is going to get a thickener. A little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of warm water. Use as a thickener. Whisk this in here. And I'm going to whisk this for about another minute or two. I want those sesame seeds to get inundated. And then I'm going to let this dressing sit aside. And I'm going to let the flavors marry. Because we're going to make the salad. Okay. So, let's build our salad. I'm going to take one nice spoonful of the dressing. And then another one. I'm going to coat the noodles in the dressing. I'm going to give it a quick toss. Okay. Cook your noodles according to the package. Al dente, about six minutes. Depending on the brand and the thickness. You know, 
Whatever the instructions are. There. Just a quick toss. Okay. Now, I'm going to add some other stuff. Some diced cucumbers. Seeded. Okay. I took the seeds out because I don't want the water. I want the flesh of the cucumber and I want the crunch. Okay. So get the cucumber in there. It's a really nice crunch to this kind of salad. There we go. Get it mixed in there. There we go. Okay, and to that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of tomato for some color. The tomato has been seeded as well. I don't want the seeds, okay? I don't want the seeds. All right, I just want the flesh of the tomato. There we go. All right, sticks a little bit, that's okay. Some red onion slivers. Okay. Get them as thin as you can. Okay, there we go. There we go. I wish I had a bigger bowl. This would be a lot easier. Okay, this would be a whole lot easier. Okay. Basil. And mint. Gonna mix this up in here. And then we're gonna plate this salad. Okay, there it is guys, plated. Right dead center with a little bit of julienne zucchini and some cilantro as a garnish on top. Surrounded by slices of pan seared eye of round. Some red chili pepper strips. And this is a thin two egg omelet uh, crepe that I just made. And you make the crepe, you take it out, you roll it up, and then you slice it into these nice little rounds. And you plate it. Now there's plenty of dressing on the soba noodle salad itself. But at this point, after it's been plated, if you want a little more dressing, right across the top. And go ahead and give it another drizzle. There you go. There it is, guys. My Thai-inspired soba noodle salad for summer. I hope you try it. I know you'll like it. Thanks for watching.